Hey guys, this is Kronos with a quick video on PureCoin minting. If you're interested in the technical side of PureCoin minting, you might want to switch over to this other video where we cover that. In this video, we'll simply cover how to mint with your PureCoins using the PureCoin client. Let's get started. After opening your PureCoin wallet software, you might notice a message in the lower left, minting suspended due to locked wallet, just as you see on my screen here. This is a good thing because it means your wallet is encrypted, which makes it safer against a virus. If it's not, click settings in the upper left and then encrypt wallet. You can see my option here is grayed out because my wallet is already encrypted. Once that's done, click unlock wallet for minting only and enter the passphrase you use to encrypt your wallet. You won't notice a big change once that's done, but if you look in the lower right, you'll see that the padlock is slightly open and if you move your mouse over it, you'll get a message. Wallet is encrypted and currently unlocked for block minting only. That's the key. That's how you know you're minting. Minting takes time, so you won't notice any other changes right away. But if you wait long enough, your transactions will eventually mint. When that happens, you'll see a message in the recent transactions section here with the new transaction and your minting reward. The pure coins that successfully minted will be moved into the stake section over here, and they'll stay there for three and a half days, after which they'll move back into your balance. If you're running the latest version of Pure Unity, you might see a new minting tab that shows the likelihood of each transaction of being able to mint. If you're running Pure Coin QT, it might not even have this settings option, unlike wa Unlock Wallet, for minting only. In that case, you have to mint the hard way, so let me show you that really quick. Under the Help section, you'll find a debug window. And from there, you can click Console. Once you have the console open, you'll need to type the cryptic command that will start minting. It is wallet pass phrase. Then you need to enter the wallet passphrase or the password that you use to encrypt your wallet. Then type the number of seconds you want to mint. Just type a whole bunch of nines. That ought to be long enough because you want to mint for as long as possible. Then type the word true. This is a little bit like programming a computer, but this is what you'll have to do if you're using that wallet software. Then press enter. Oh, wallet is already unlocked. This is because I chose the menu option from earlier. If you hadn't done that, this would unlock your wallet, and the way to make sure that you're minting is to check the padlock in the lower left. Mousing over that padlock is the surest way to tell if you're minting or not. Well, that's about it. PureCoin minting is pretty simple. If you have any questions, head on over to the forums at purecointalk.org. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.